Well, two parents whose kids attend Logan Middle School say there's a real problem with bullying and no one is doing much about it. One parent says her sixth grader was assaulted even after the school was told about student threats made to her child. Another parent said the school told her they were on top of the situation. So News 19's Roger Stafferoni reached out to both parents to learn more about what they think the problem is and what they think the school should do about it. So Roger, what did they tell you? Well, Heather, these parents tell me that bullying and actual assaults are an ongoing issue and their frustration now stems from what they call a lack of consequences for those students escalating this bad behavior. Now, according to the parents I spoke with, kids are getting bullied and hit in the school, and it's also become an issue that parents are not finding out about the incidents right away. One of the biggest issues that myself and a lot of other parents have here is they don't contact us over this stuff. I think I've been contacted maybe once or twice um, in all of the altercations that have happened. Well, the ball got dropped. My daughter ended up getting jumped in the bathroom, and this student was supposed to be under supervision. The school nurse checked her out school nurse didn't call me, dean of students didn't call me, the principal didn't call me. Now Diane went on to tell me that the student that assaulted her daughter was allowed to return to school the next day. We reached out to the district to find out what if any disciplinary action was taken, but due to the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, they could not give any details. As for what consequences could apply, the district's Student Code of Rights and Responsibilities has what is referred to as extreme unexpected behavior, the chart for that. Dis disciplinary responses listed as may result in a long-term removal of student with a re-entry meeting to be held with parents and school team. But none of that has happened as of our knowledge yet, Heather. All right, and that's a lot to digest. Thank you, Roger. Coming up tonight at 10, we'll hear how the parents and their children say they're moving forward in a positive manner.